Hey guys, and welcome back to the Oddity Files. Today we're going to be diving into file number 8, the Bridgewater Triangle. The Bridgewater Triangle is located in the southeastern part of Massachusetts. It sits on a 200 square mile area. It is a honey hole for anything odd. It's just full of it. Cryptics, paranormal, anything you think of, it's just full of it. Let's dig a little deeper into the history and the backstory of this place so I can just really get you guys into it. There are many landmarks located in the Bridgewater Triangle. These different landmarks vary from Hockamock Swamp to Digton Rock, Freetown Falls State River, and Profile Rock. This place is full of anything you guys can think of. I'm going to tell you all the different phenomenons that go on in the Bridgewater Triangle just so I can show you guys how creepy and how weird this place actually is. UFO sightings are prevalent in the Bridgewater Triangle. I mean, there's a lot of them. Bigfoot sightings are big there too. They've been big ever since 1978. It was first reported by Joseph D. Andred. It was reported walking into the Hockamock Swamp, which Bigfoot is a very interesting creature because he's never found who knows if he exists I'm not saying he's not real but he's just hard to find another real big thing that has been reported in the Bridgewater Triangle is giant Thunderbirds which if you guys don't know it's either a giant bird or some people say it's a pterodactyl I will probably do a future video on it but they are very prevalently spotted in the Bridgewater Triangle too. Native American curses are huge. People believe that the Native Americans live there and curse some parts of it and that is just digging into a whole other deep section of odd things that I will have to do another video on too. Many cults have actually been located in the Bridgewater Triangle and in turn has brought a lot more weird stuff with it such as animal slaughtering. Or mutilation. These cults are known to mutilate or slaughter animals in clearings as sacrifices, which is creepy. Could you imagine just walking around the forest, not even knowing about all this other stuff, and coming across a sacrificed cow that some cult did? Other lesser known reported things include giant snakes, ghosts, and poltergeists. Those are prevalent there, but not as prevalent as the couple I named. So what do you guys think? Why do you think all these things happen in the Bridgewater Triangle? Why do you think cults are there? Why do you think it's so haunted, filled with cryptids, filled with anything? What do you believe? Guys, if you haven't liked, subscribed, or commented on anything, do it now. Get me to 100 subscribers. If you guys haven't checked out my Instagram, I am giving away free stickers on there. Go check it out. I will link my Instagram in the description and as always guys think weird be odd and stay safe